गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन सो एज डॉक्टर साइली एंड मधुरा हैज डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दी न्योनेटल ओबेसिटी एडिपोसिटी एंड देयर डिटर्मिनेंट्स सो आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट लेटर लाइफ ओबेसिटी एडिपोसिटी इन ऑफ स्प्रिंग ऑफ मदर्स विद डायबिटीज अ फॉलो अप स्टडी फ्रॉम डायबिटीज क्लिनिक पुणे इंडिया एंड आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी डायबिटीज ग्रुप ऑफ डायबिटीज यूनिट के एम एच आर एच आर सी पुणे so first we will discuss about uh, two major uh, cardiometabolic risk factors obesity adiposity and glucose intolerance first we will we'll see about the obesity so most of the available literature is from western world and uh, they have focused on childhood adolescence and only few studies have focused till adulthood so the pima indian population uh, have shown the higher risk of obesity and diabetes in offspring of diabetic mothers so there is only one indian population from mysore parthenon cohort who have shown the higher adiposity mainly the subscapular skin fold thicknesses in female odms since early childhood and increase significantly till adolescent period and female offspring of diabetic fathers also had higher subscapular skin folds so there are few research gaps in the studies which have been conducted so far so there is only data from only one indian center they had smaller number of odms they a significant difference was seen only in girls and they have studied the type of diabetes as gdn so there are very few studies who have studied the association or the effect of pre gestational diabetes which are type 1 and type 2 diabetes only few studies have focused on the paternal influences and the interaction between parental size and glucose intolerance were not reported so considering these research gaps objective of our, of our study is to study the association of parental size and glycemia with offspring obesity adiposity and glucose intolerance so our study population consisted of 170 mothers and their 200 odms which are offspring of diabetic mothers and 177 uh, controls on non diabetic pregnancies and their 177 offsprings who are offspring of non diabetic mothers the major strength of our study is that we have also studied fathers so 150 fathers in the odm group and 163 fathers in the ondm group so um, our main exposures were maternal diabetes in pregnancy we have data on gdm type 1 and type 2 diabetic pregnancies maternal size paternal size and paternal hyperglycemia and uh, our major outcomes were overweight obesity and uh, central obesity adiposity and glucose intolerance so for overweight obesity we have used who criteria and uh, since our age range was very wide so our offspring's age range was 2 to 26 years so we standardized the offspring outcomes by calculating the age and gender specific sd scores for waist circumference sum of skin folds and body fat percent for glucose intolerance we have measured the capillary blood glucose in less than 10 year old offspring and we have done ogdt sorry ogdt and measured the venous plasma glucose in older offspring who are more than 10 years of age so coming to our results we could see the significantly higher prevalence of uh, overweight plus obesity in the odms as compared to ondms and uh, we have also uh, calculated the predicted models or predicted size of uh, the offspring and since the age gender and tanner stage of the offspring are the major determinants for their growth so we have done the linear regression and we have adjusted for all these parameters and here we could see that the offspring of diabetic mothers had higher birth weight as as dr saili has already explained but they had catch down in infancy and they had earlier adiposity rebound in the childhood and similar patterns were observed for other body size parameters also when we have seen the effect of parental size on the offspring overweight obesity we could see the progressive increase in the prevalence of overweight obesity as the parental overweight obesity increases so the highest prevalence was in the group where both parents were overweight plus obese so here we could see the additive effect of maternal and paternal obesity and it was seen in the both groups odms and ondms but it was significantly higher in the odm group now we will discuss about the glucose intolerance 
So the western population showed the higher prevalence of type 2 diabetes in ODMs and offspring of women with GDM have 4 to 8 fold increase in the risk of diabetes as compared to offspring of type 2 and type 1 diabetic mothers. So what we have seen in our population? So we had seen significantly higher capillary blood glucose in the ODMs at the mean age of 5 to 6 years and uh, here in the older age group already 5% of ODMs were diabetic at the mean age of 15 years and additionally 37% were pre-diabetic. So in total 42% were pre-diabetic at the mean age of just 15 years and only 58% were NGTs. And where in the controls or in the ONDM group only 20% were pre-diabetic and 80% of them were normal glucose tolerant which shows the prevalence in our background population. When we have seen the glucose across the age range of 2 to 26 years, we could see that there is a higher glucose concentration in ODMs which is the red line and throughout the life course from 2 to 26 years of age. So we have seen the or we have done the multiple linear regression method and here we have seen the association between parental size and glucose with offspring obesity adiposity and glucose intolerance. So here we can see that the <clears throat> parental overweight obesity was directly associated with offspring obesity adiposity and additionally child's birth weight was also directly associated but it was not associated with child's glucose intolerance and whereas parental glucose intolerance was directly associated with child's glucose intolerance but it was not associated with associated with child's obesity and adiposity so here we would see the mirror imaging effect Offspring obesity adiposity was associated with biparental overweight obesity and not with parental di or diabetes. Maternal diabetes in pregnancy was the major driver for offspring glucose intolerance. To summarize our major findings, we could see that ODMs were more overweight obese and glucose intolerant than ONDMs and they, these phenotypes were apparent from early childhood and we could see the mirror imaging effect of size and glycemia between parents and offspring. So the major concluding rem remarks from all our studies which we have presented today. For the neonatal obesity adiposity, maternal hyperglycemia is the major driver but not maternal size. In GDM pregnancies, additional effect of maternal size, micronutrients, one carbon metabolism and paternal size was seen. For the later life obesity adiposity, parental size but not the glycemia had the effect and that was a biparental effect, mother as well as father. And for the later life glucose in intolerance, maternal pregnancy glycemia was the major driver with a small paternal effect and no effect on of the parental size. So I would like to thank the study participants, our mentor and guide Professor C.S. Yajnik who is the constant support for us and who guided us or who is guiding us constantly through our journey and our co-authors and collaborators, staff of the Diabetes Unit KMHRC and a sincere and special thanks to Dr. Rutul to giving us the opportunity to present our work here. Thank you so much for your patient hearing.